from Marvel Studios and Universal comes the second movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that we're doing an honest trailer for because Infinity War is coming out. We've already done all the other MCU movies, and Black Panther isn't on Blu-ray yet. The Incredible Hulk. Meet Bruce Banner. No, not the one people like. Who's that? He never played the Hulk, did he? No, you know the one I'm talking about. The Death to Smoochie guy. There he is. Ed Norton shines as the first Marvel actor to show off how many crunches he did for the part. Abs. And he's bringing his incredible range to a role that has him act like he's on Xanax. I know a few techniques could help you manage that anger very effectively. You zip it. While off camera, he's bringing his incredible ego to a full rewrite of the script under the fake name Edward Harrison. Do you want to get Terrence Howarded? Because that's how you get Terrence Howarded. Join Bruce for a story where he runs away from the military, runs away from the military, and runs away from the military again. But sometimes when his little Fitbit thingy hits 200, he'll turn into the Hulk, an unstoppable rage monster that's actually a huge danger to the entire planet, the economy of Brazil, and all of Harlem. Yeesh, I'm glad he flew off to not Planet Hulk. There wouldn't be an Earth left for Thanos to punch. Hulk smash! Before Gwyneth Paltrow took a four-year hiatus, and before Natalie Portman took an indefinite absence? I uh, dumped her. This is a mutual dumping. Liv Tyler dropped off the face of the MCU without so much as an Easter egg. Stand and smile as the actress spends most of the movie standing and smiling as she doesn't get anything or even anyone to do. I can't get too excited. <laughs> You've always wanted to see the Hulk match up against a villain that could equal his powers. Well, too bad, because he's fighting the skinny British guy from Reservoir Dogs. He's a decorated veteran with zero personal connection to Bruce Banner and zero threat to the Hulk. But when he shoots himself full of tainted Captain America juice, he'll turn into one of the most forgettable monsters in the MCU. The mixture could be an abomination. That was so bad, he got his ass kicked all the way into Batman v Superman. Ugh. Go back to the days before Marvel had this whole universe thing on autopilot, where our nerd boners would only get little tastes of fan service. A sequel was only lightly implied instead of blatantly setting up five more movies. It put its post credit scene before the credits. What if I told you we were putting a team together? And didn't make a billion dollars. Oh, that's like Green Lantern money. Ugh. No, I know what it's like to not live up to expectations. So strap in for this odd sequel, requel, reboot, origin movie that's better than we give it credit for. Because whatever you think about the film itself, it gave us Mark Ruffahulk. Puny God. And paved the way for Ed Norton to join Wes Anderson's Fancy Boy Cinematic Universe. Oh man, I cannot wait for the Royal Tenenbaums to fight Steve Zissou in Budapest Hotel Infinity Floor. Okay, Green Goblin, nobody punches out Flash Thompson in this quirky hotel and gets away with it. Starring I Am Jack's departure due to creative differences, Iggy Pop, Like a Ross, y'all got an Iron Man suit that needs voicing, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Heroin Addict, The Disposable Hulk. ¿Dónde es? ¿Dónde estoy? En Guatemala. Yeah, it's probably not the first time a white guy got so hammered in Brazil he woke up half naked in Guatemala. Spring Break 97, woo! Don't sweat the petty things, and don't pet the sweaty things. Oh hell no, Karen. Keep your bland-ass potato salad to yourself. I control all the bats. All the bats. Clouds are just ghost sheep. $50 fine and time served. <laughs>